Thanks to Corsair for sponsoring our Computex 2018 coverage. Check out their new HS70 gaming headsets at the link below. It's getting to the point where I don't even know what to say about RGB anymore. But Corsair has kicked it up yet another notch with what they're calling IQ, a Corsair interface. They're taking everything that was good about Link and Q, so those were their individual softwares for your internal components and your peripherals, and they're putting them all together as more of like a complete system software suite. It can monitor your system temperatures and your clock speeds. It can adjust your RGB animations. It can synchronize animations between the inside and the outside of your system, and they've got it working with a whopping 1,649 SKUs. Now, most of them are Corsair, but some of the components do have compatibility across platform, like these all-new Vengeance RGB Pro DIMMs, and they are currently working with partners like Gigabyte, MSI, and A. ASUS to improve intercompatibility across the various RGB ecosystems. Some of the coolest things you can do with IQ because it's more than just lighting control are setting up profiles. So say for example when you're at your desktop you can have like a kind of mellow color shifty thing going on. When you fire up a game you can have full RGB circus mode light up and then <laughs> Best of all, when you do something like launch a movie, you can have all of your RGB lighting turn off so that it's not distracting in the slightest. And because it controls your system fans as well, you can even have all of your fans either go to a very low RPM for a near silent operation or even turn off entirely so that nothing interrupts your movie watching experience. But don't imagine that this kind of customization comes cheap. The system that we're looking at here in their newly launched 1000D, so this is a close relative to the concept slate that we actually did a dual system build in not that long ago. The main difference being that it's got flat tempered glass on the front instead of curved, will cost you well in excess of one thousand US dollars. This system right here to control the 20 Four Corsair light loop fans, which are worth 800 plus US dollars on their own, requires four of their Commander Pro control modules. Wow. And that's not even including extras like their RGB strips or their Vengeance RGB Pro memory. Now, if you guys are into RGB memory, this is looking like a pretty significant advancement. So they've got a bunch of the pre-canned animations on display here, but the main advantage compared to competitors like G-Skills Trident ZRGB is that they've got 10 LEDs per module, which at this time cannot be individually adjusted within the software, but on a hardware level, are individually addressable, so you can do all kinds of complex animations like this one that's like an RGB rotating clock thing, and their software configuration, which is more advanced than stuff we've seen in the past, including the ability to, depending on your motherboard layout, adjust things like which dim is in which slot and which orientation is each dim in. So some motherboards have the dims kind of all going this way and then some have them like this way on either side of the CPU socket. So this allows us to just hit one button here to reverse the direction, and now all of a sudden our animation is running in the same direction on each dim instead of being in opposite directions. This video, like many others here at Computex 2018, is brought to you by Corsair's HS70. It's their new wireless headset that features comfy, cushiony ear cups, a removable microphone, and up to 16 hours of wireless battery life, which I guess, oh, it's playing in my ears. Does it have, a, it's got a volume control knob on the back. What am I listening to? Slow jams. <laughs> These guys know how to do a demo. You got that music playing in there? All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Don't miss any of our Computex 2018 coverage by getting subscribed, and we'll see you at the next booth. Ka-chow. Well, no, no, I leave. The camera doesn't leave. Ow.